Welcome back everyone, Garland here again. What's going on YouTube, what's going on Neverwinter? Today is July 7th, the summer festival is now in effect. And everything with the summer festival is the same as the previous year, however they did add a new event called the Saha Ticket Ball. Uh, this event is going to last from July 7th to July 21st, but then July 21st, the summer festival's height does begin, so you get another few days to farm from July 21st to the 28th. So basically from July 7th to July 28th, you'll be able to farm. Now what are these ticket balls? There's a lot of confusion about these ticket balls. Now basically this event is a cash grab on Cryptic's part. Uh, so you have about 20 days. You can get one ticket ball per day. Now the confusion lies in with, well, how do I get the volleys? Uh, as you can see here, I'm already at 359 volleys. Uh, the event has literally been going on for two hours, and I am already maxed out on volleys. How do you do this? Unfortunately, you can only get one ticket ball a day. Once you get your ticket ball, you want to get a group of your friends and you want to throw your ticket ball at your friends while you're in a group. Now, the volleys actually do accumulate. So when I throw a ball at someone, I will get one point. When someone throws a ball at me, I get one point, or one volley rather. So if you have a group of five, you should be getting at least five volleys uh, per ball. Uh, but like I said, you can only get, you know, between five, six, seven volleys, maybe, if you're lucky, per day. So why is this a cash grab? Well, you can go over to the Zen store here, and you can buy balls for 100 Zen. Uh, so basically, if you want to max out your volleys in the first day, you're going to have to either buy the Zen or exchange the Zen on the market, and then buy a whole lot of balls, uh, it's best if, you, like I said, you do get a group of five, you all split it up evenly, uh, and then max out that way. Um, the whole main reason you want to get to 300 volleys is so you have a chance to get the mithril tickets. Uh, the mithril tickets do yield the best rewards, obviously. Um, as you can see here, let's go down. Right now I am at 269 copper tickets, 68 silver tickets, and I do have five mithril tickets already. Um, but since basically I've maxed out my volleys on the first day, so every free ball I get from here on out has a chance to gain me a mithril ticket. The mithril ticket is not a guaranteed drop out of the ball. It does have a slightly low drop rate. Uh, it's, as you saw, I'm at, uh, 300 and 359 volleys and I've only actually accumulated five mithril tickets, so that's about one mithril ticket every 10 volleys after 300. Uh, RNG in this game is, of course, well, you know how RNG goes. I don't know what the mithril tickets are going to yield as far as buying the boxes and actually getting a legendary mount. Um, we're going to test that right now, but as far as your volleys, unfortunately, yes, that's going to be the quickest way, is you're either going to have to buy the Zen out of pocket with your money, or you're going to have to transfer the Zen on the AD exchange and buy the balls. Now, this, of course, is if you want to max out on the first day. Um, if you can find someone willing to just toss their balls at you, <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but uh, if you can find someone to toss the, the Saha ticket ball at you, you will get a volley for it, but they're obviously going to expect something in return. Um, maybe some kind of thing is if you want to offer to buy volleys or come to an agreement if someone has 100 uh, ticket balls and you offer them an item to throw them at you to you know, increase your volley count. Uh, another confusion lies within the queue system itself. Um, if you go to the queue system, the Saha match, you do not get any volleys from this, okay? Uh, this Saha match is what you're going to be doing daily to get your free Saha ball, but you will not get any volleys just by doing the match. You can farm this match all you want. It's not going to do anything for you except get you some of the Summer Festival uh, material which you need for the other events. Uh, the only way to get the volleys, like I said, is to throw your ticket ball at someone or have someone throw their ticket ball at you. Uh, it's definitely a major cash grab event for Cryptic. I assume they're going to make a good deal of money. Um, 
that's all there is really to it really guys i mean there shouldn't be any other confusion i should have cleared everything up if you do have any questions let me know uh let's go over here to the ticket vendor uh the copper the copper tickets you know there's really nothing in here you can buy favors uh you can actually buy uh uh, more moves um, for when you're playing this AHA event. You know, this is a spike move. Nothing, nothing too important. They do have fashion, uh, body paint, uh, South Sea ornaments. You can also buy an ornate ball, which apparently will let you play Saha even when the event is over. It says start, start a just for fun cooperative game of Saha with your party members. But these are unimportant items. Let's look at the silver. Uh, the jade is 25,000 refinement points for 23 silver tickets. Now that's not, not too bad. I'm not sure if this binds when you when you buy it. It doesn't look like it does. Uh, so for 23 silver tickets, you can get 25k refinement, which will turn into 50k if you stack these and wait for a double refinement. Also, you can get some preservation rewards for 10. And then some rank 7s. Also, you can get insignias for your mount if you need blue insignias. I prefer purple. I wouldn't waste any tickets on these. And then also for the stronghold, uh, golden bells. These will bind on pickup. Uh, they are 30 silver tickets. And then you can also get uh, some stronghold boxes also. Uh, influence is a, is a very good one. Uh, five major influence vouchers, uh, 15 tickets, that's not too bad. Now to the big boys, the mithril tickets, the midsummer artifact raffle. You have a selection of artifacts. It does not say if these bind. I am not sure if these bind if you would happen to win one. Now, as I said, RNG in this game is horrible. I have five mithril tickets. I'm going to be going for the legendary mouth, obviously. I really want the uh, Tenzer's floating disc. Uh, if these do bind and I do get like an Emperor Beetle or something, I'm going to be a little upset. I do not need an Emperor Beetle. Uh, the War Horse would be okay. Uh, the Rage Drake would be okay. And I ideally would like to get the disc. Uh, the Skeleton Steed is not needed. But it says a chance at one of these. And the, as you can see below it, the Consolation Prize is... <laughs> five trade bars and five silver tickets which is, which is just basically a joke for the amount of money it would take you to get all the volleys that you need and everything the the payoff for this is just absolutely horrible uh, five trade bars and five silver tickets um, we're gonna see what the how bad the RNG is like I said I do have five mithril tickets right now uh, this is only day one of the event I plan on Getting quite a few more Mithril tickets, but I doubt we're going to be pulling a Legendary in these five. You can also get the uh, the Epic Mount Pack, but why would you go for the Epic when you could go for Legendaries for the same price? So let's buy... I guess we'll buy one of these at a time. I don't want to buy all five at once, and heaven forbid I get five Legendaries. You know, that would just be atrocious, especially if they are bound to your character. Let's buy one of these. Oh, okay, so it's a raffle right off the bat. I don't even get the item. As you can see, I got five silver tickets from that. Alrighty, so let's go for number two. And I did get another silver ticket, so it's not looking too good. I bet you you're going to need a lot of mithril tific A lot of mithril tickets to even get a chance of getting this legendary mount. Number three. Uh, well, that time it didn't even tell me what I got, so... I'm not even sure what I got there, to be honest. I obviously didn't get the mount, though. Let's go back in, and here we go again. And it looks like I did get another silver ticket. And the last and final one. And another silver ticket. So just as I thought, this event is most likely not going to be very fun. Uh, it's going to be a lot of farming, a lot of grinding. Uh, it's definitely a huge cash grab on Cryptic's part, I doubt. It's probably going to be a 1% or less drop rate to even get a Legendary Mount. And just the sheer fact that and the amount of money you have to put into the Zen market just to get 300 Bali Zone overall. It's a little upsetting, to be honest. Uh, like I said, for the amount of money that you have to put in to get the amount of volleys that you need just for a chance to get a Legendary Mount. Uh, I only had five Mithril tickets, which is obviously a low amount. It is only day one of the event. I do have 20, 
20 plus days to get a couple more mithril tickets but i it's going to be luck you know it's how rng works in this game i mean, i could get one i could not so it's going to be very unfortunate but chances are i will not get one um i will let you guys know in the description below uh of an update of if i do get one and how many tickets it did take me to get one so we're five mithril tickets in already uh this is going to conclude the video hopefully this clears up a little a little bit about the new event the saha ticket ball event uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing any videos on the summer festival overall just because like i said nothing else is new from uh last year there's a few other videos out there that go really in depth on the other events uh, but i did want to cover the saha ticket ball event because there does seem to be a lot of confusion on how to get the volleys and unfortunately you can only get one saha ticket ball a day uh, when you need 300 volleys you basically have to spend money that's all there is to it unless you can find that courteous person that just wants to uh, spam you with free balls but that's highly improbable so that's going to conclude the video today guys i hope this cleared it up uh, if you do have any questions be sure to leave me a comment and i will get back to you all right never winner it's been fun hey good luck farming hopefully some of you guys will be able to pull a legendary mount thanks